fellas. Morning boots. Ah, uh, beauty day out here, eh, Ramo? Is it a nice day out here today? Uh, it's super nice. Um, I'm gonna go and get the uh, custom hats done today. Two of you have not replied. Make sure you check your Twitter DMs. Make sure you check your Facebook messages because I've sent a message to all of the winners. Two of you have replied. And come this Friday, if you do not, on Saturday, I will be picking two new winners. So good news to all of you guys that didn't win. Anyway, I'm gonna go get those done today. And uh, I think that's it. Is that all I'm doing today? Yeah, get the hats. And I think I'm gonna go for a walk. Lunch time. Are we giving Ramo and Floyd anything? Or did you give him something already? Ramo, are you hungry? I sure am. I could eat a horse. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I know. I got you all geared up. You're a good boy. Come here, come here. Come here, shh, shh, shh. This is my bum. Okay. This is my bum and I, I know, his, his, like his tail won't shake hard enough, so he shakes his whole butt. Look, he thinks here. you're getting some. Come here. So what are we having, so fried? Want to try a piece of tofu? So are we having to scrambled tofu on toast? That's oh, ours? Hold on, I'm gonna get Look, he's like, oh, what is this? I'm not a vegetarian. I don't care. Ramoth's like, right, I don't so care. I take my tofu. I'm a pooitarian. All right, so that's yeah, got so some mustard it. in it. It's got mustard, pepper, and then I cut up some green onions. Yeah, so yeah, it, it's like egg salad, right? Very similar but it's to not, egg salad. So you just put it on your sandwich. Oh, yeah. I think somebody else wants a little snack yeah, for lunch. Somebody's sitting right by Ramos. You give me a paw. Goes. You give me a paw. Okay, you I'll get you. Have a I'll it. get you some. You want something to eat? All right, it's time to try this bad boy. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's really good. I didn't mean fine. I meant really good. Well, we're going to uh, drop off some food, some homemade food for Pam's friend. That's very nice of you, Pam. It's very oh. nice of you. And then we're going to drop by the mall to get the hats uh, made for the winners again. So anyway, I'm going to get those done. And then what? We're just exchanging some pans yeah. for the boys. Yeah. But that's it. Oh. And then I got to work early. Jeez. Oh. Jammy on the slammy oh. brake. Oh. Would you s stop? <laughs> you need to go back to driver's school. Whatever. Hi, Miam. Hi, Miam. How was school? Good. Are you all educated now? Yeah. Fantastic. Definitely. You had math was your last class? Yeah. Numbers running through your mind? Math. What's five plus five? Six. Very, very good. Very good. He's yeah. very. He knows a lot of things. He's can, very smart. I can smart really well. You can spoke England since you were a children, and you. It's just amazing. Hi, boots. What are you doing, bud? Uh, I gotta work in about ten minutes, so I thought you know it'd be great to sip on while I'm working. <laughs> a pina colada. So that's what I'm gonna make. No rum though. Boring. Uh, whatever. It's the middle of the week. I gotta work. Give me like. Hey, I'm gonna shoot that guy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make dinner for Pam and myself because mommy made dinner for the boys and Cal's friend. Uh, so I'm gonna make some asparagus, some Brussels sprouts, and some cauliflower, and to wrap things up, we're gonna do the final, the final king's thing, just chicken nuggets. So just some plain chicken nuggets. We're gonna see our favorite, I think the best vegetarian, vegan chicken nuggets that I've had uh, probably ever so far is through Zen Garden. Zen Garden is the best, right? So. We have pretty, you know, when I find things, especially when it's like vegetarian and I'm like, mmm, that's really good, we stick with it. You don't mess around with that. So we have some high standards on some vegan chicken nuggets. We'll see how these do. All right, the vegetables are done. We got asparagus, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower with a bit of garlic, salt and pepper, roasted. And then we've got the kings. Oh, I think I threw out the, no, I didn't. Right here, remember the same thing, the amazing beef, these are their chicken nuggets. And here's, I got some plum sauce here if you want to try that. Liam, try one. Let's let mom try it first and tell See, me. Out of us three, I'm the master of meat. What does that mean? That sounds wrong. Do you need a Kleenex box with that or? 
Now, you, I, I'm just saying, because you've been a vegetarian for a while, your ability to say what's good and what isn't. I wish the inside was a little less mushy. It's their chicken, right? It's their chicken. They never nail it. All right, I'm going to try it. I'm sorry I wasn't looking at you. i got to make sure it's in focus. I'm going to try one of these. It's just the inside. It's Listen, I'm just saying that Pam says it's a five. I don't have too many high hopes for this. Love your double happiness, Kings. I'm just saying, awesome on the beef, but your chicken and your pork is horrible. Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you can see that. It looks stringy like it's gonna be like chicken and everything like that, but it's, it doesn't taste bad it's not at bad. all. No, it doesn't taste bad at all, mm -hmm. but the consistency is not like chicken. They need to They should have put though. the beef in it. You put the beef in there, whatever the coloring that you use, omit that, beef you got a winning chicken nugget right there. Boom, super chicken nugget. Hey King, or do you not care? I'm just giving you some tips, man. Hello, is you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yeah, you are, aren't you? Hey, eh? and your breath doesn't smell like poo. Did he eat poo today? Do you know? Likely. Well, that's not very prom Was he promising. Was today? Yeah, but I cleaned up the entire yard, at least as much uh, as I could. I bet you didn't. What? I mean, I bet you tried, but I bet. What? Don't kids. say. I know, I know. There's always something. You know what? I thought I cleaned up the entire yard. I'm like, man, I think I got everything. I got up. And the boots that I wore, yeah, I stepped in some stuff. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> like, I tried to look carefully and everything like that. Oh, is Floyd coming over to lay with mommy? So this is what we do every night. The end of the night, end of working and everything like that. We sit back. And we're actually watching, I don't know if you can see that, uh, Animal Cops. That's Animal right. Cops yeah. in Houston. And uh, I'll tell you... I was, we were all fired up here just a minute ago uh, with Ramo and, and, and uh, you're such a good boy. Uh, oh, and you're snorting. <laughs> um, but they're watching, they just busted a dog fighting ring. If any of you know people that are involved in dog fighting, I know it's not an easy thing to do. Please, even anonymously, anonymously, uh, give a tip to your local SPCA, your Humane Society, whatever. Let Gosh. them know. Whatever. The, even the police. It's illegal, but more so than illegal, who cares about it being against the law? It is super inhumane and cruel to dogs. You know what I mean? They fight to the death. They suffer. They're, they're treated poorly. If you're involved in it, you're a horrible human being. And I say that... And, and I don't apologize or anything like that. If you're involved in dog fighting, you are a horrible, horrible human being. And I wish nothing but the worst for you. And I, and I say that because you need to learn. You need to learn that, you know, you need to have compassion for animals. It's just, just don't do it. If you know someone is involved, at least try and talk them out of it or something. And I'm not saying rat on them, but get them out of it because no, it's I'm not, it's that. not okay. It's not okay. People make mistakes. I know. I know you're all straight, but anyway, that's it. I, I don't mean to leave it on a, you know, but we're watching it and it gets me fired up. I'm like, why? Why? Just to make a quick buck for your amusement to see other creatures suffering like that for amusement? Not okay, man. Not okay. That makes you a bad, bad, bad person. Absolutely bad person. And I know most of you, or if not all of you, don't do that. But if you do know someone, you know, try and talk to them. Say, listen, dude, man, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing to be involved in. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Tomorrow, I'm going to be picking up the hats. Oh, and tomorrow, Floyd is oh, Floyd is going it. under the knife, as they say. Where is it? He's getting some yeah. surgery. It looks a lot better. He has to have a that little thing that on his paw removed. But they have to put him down because it could be close to a vein. They just got to put them down because they got to cut it off. It's not easy. You can't just have them awake because they'll pull it away. So anyway, he's going in there for surgery. He'll be absolutely fine. Uh, but boxers, if you didn't know, very, very prone to cancer and stuff like that. So we don't take any chances, especially with our dogs, because they're not just animals. They're not just pets. They're part of our family, and we love them a lot. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's vlog, hit the like button. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Squish your head.